Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, take a look at this. Lemon blueberry cake. It's delicious and I make it in the bread machine. I really like cooking cake in a bread machine. Let me show you how to make it. But the first thing I need to do is go out and get some blueberries. We have two small blueberry bushes that I've had for five or six years. And we found this netting this year that zips closed and open and it has made such a difference in the ease of protecting the blueberry bushes and the blueberries from the birds and getting into them and being able to harvest some of the blueberries when we need them. And so I'm really uh, happy we found these and I'll put a link uh, in the description box about these nets in case you have some small blueberry bushes like I do. Anyway, we're going to pick some so we can use to uh, make this dessert. And they are just so delicious. And it's a lot of fun to grow your own. So I encourage you to get a couple of blueberry bushes and get them growing. And so here they are. So on with the cake. Well, I'm going to uh, take the bake pan out of uh, the uh, uh, bread machine. And the first thing we want to do is get some lemon zest. So I'm going to grate some of this in. All the ingredients will be uh, listed in the description box below, so you can make this as well. It's a really simple uh, in, uh, cake because I'm going to use a cake mix. So there's the lemon zest, and then we're going to uh, get some lemon juice and squeeze in. So I'll cut this lemon in half, and we'll use the juice from this lemon. And I have this lemon uh, squeezer that makes it so much easier to squeeze out the juice. I just bought this and I'm going to put it in a measuring cup because I want my total liquid to be one cup. And so I'll squeeze this juice in and then add enough liquid uh, to make it one cup. And I'll put a link to this squeezer, this lemon squeezer. It's for lemons and for limes and it is really convenient. And for the liquid I'm going to use Sprite, the soda. And so that equals one cup of liquid and into the bake pan it goes. I hope things are going well for you. And now for three eggs. And these are at room temperature. Just like that. All right. Now we want to put some vanilla extract. That's one tablespoon of vanilla extract and one third of a cup of melted butter. And that's about five tablespoons of butter. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And here's the simple lemon cake mix. It's a Betty Crocker cake mix, like you can find at any grocery store. And so we'll pour this in. And then we're going to add one box of instant lemon pudding mix. And it just goes right in like that as well. Simple, huh? Now we'll pop this in to the bread machine and set it to the cake setting. Medium crust and push start. And then that goes until it reaches a particular spot where it lets you know if you want to add ingredients because you don't want to put the blueberries in at the beginning or it will just pulverize them. So we put these in and then once it's finished cooking uh, it's still very hot. We're going to take it out and let it cool. Here's what it looks like. Let it cool on the counter until it gets cool enough to handle without any uh, towels or pot holders. Now it's still warm, but it's uh, easy to handle and we just shake it and it comes right out. And I'll put it on this uh, cake dish. <laughs> I couldn't think of what you call this thing. And so it's still warm. So while it's continuing to cool, we're going to mix up some lemon glaze. Again, this is very easy. I'm going to go through the same process of uh, getting some lemon zest. And we'll cut this lemon open and we'll get the juice of, well, we'll go with half the lemon. Because I don't put the glaze on top of the cake uh, like, like people normally do. Uh, I, I like to put the glaze on individual slices. And so we'll add powdered sugar and the way this works you stir it and you get it to the consistency you want and if it's uh, 
uh, too thin or too thick, you add more liquid. Now that's a little uh, vanilla extract, clear vanilla extract, and so I've added that as well. So it has lemon juice, vanilla extract, and uh, powdered sugar. And if it needs to be thicker, you add more sugar. And so here's what the cake looks like. It's very moist and delicious. It doesn't really even need any of that uh, uh, frosting or glaze. Look at that. Beautiful. But if you want to add a, another little zip of lemony flavor, you want to use the glaze. So we'll slice this. And I'll pull this piece out and let you have a closer look at it. And this way you can put as much or as little glaze on your lemon blueberry cake as you like. Let's have a taste. I promise you, you will like this cake if you like lemon blueberry cake. It is so moist and delicious. Look at that. Mmm. Now that hits the spot. Can you tell how moist that is? Excellent, excellent cake. Well, that's how you make it. Hey, I appreciate you watching my videos. I encourage you to look at my channel. I have 350 others to check out. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.